I've gotten to the point where we almost exclusively do front squat. We still do back squat every now and then, but especially for a high school athlete or a junior high athlete, whoever you start with, front squat is vital because of the placement in the bar in the front. By keeping the elbows up, it naturally keeps your back flatter and in a more upright position than a back squat does. You have to have great hip flexibility to have the bar on your back with your chest up and your shoulder blades tight to keep here as opposed to here. So a lot of people that don't have great hip flexibility, no matter what, it shoots their hips back and it gets their chest too far forward. Even if they have a good flat back, it still wears and tears on that low back. I've found with front squat, they can handle more weight, they feel more comfortable, uh, they can handle more weight than they think they can, I guess I should say. You, in the beginning, won't be able to do as much weight as a back squat, but it just keeps him in a much safer position. So Antonio's gonna get his grip, gonna roll the bar to his fingertips, elbows up, just like he catches the bar on a clean. First move he makes is hip back. Don't do that little thing, which you, whatever you did there to begin with. Yeah, just go right into your rep. Go ahead and go down about another two inches. And again, because of the placement of the bar on front squat, you can go down as far as you want to go. We try to go Achilles or a hamstring to the Achilles. So you go all the way down past parallel. That's excellent. Notice he keeps his chin level, eyes straight ahead, elbows up, heels down. If you're spotting on this, it's very simple. You're just going to spot on his elbows or his tricep. Nope. Just like that. Okay, you don't want to do it in front, you want to do it from behind. Go ahead and do one more rep. Good. In the rack, walk it all the way in. Also on front squat, it's vital that they don't get real wide. A lot of times on back squat, because a lot of powerlifting slash uh, football coaches have a powerlifting background, they'll teach a wide stance. Okay, that's not great for uh, really athletic endeavors in my opinion because you're not going to get as flexible you want to go lower and so notice Antonio's feet was really kind of in between hip and shoulder it wasn't necessarily shoulder width but that's exactly where he wants to be Antonio's grabbing it by two fingers and if the guys are flexible enough to do that the bar should just rest on a shelf created by your upper delt and your or your uh, front delt and your upper chest and so that's a perfect that's that's excellent on front squat we want to make sure the guy's not too wide with their feet. So we're going to be really in between hip and shoulder width with his toes turned out slightly. Antonio's toes might be just a smidge wide. Bring them in just a teeny weeny bit. There you go. Just ever, ever so slightly outward. And again, elbows up, butt back, weight to the heel. And by having his, go ahead and do a rep, by having his feet right where they are, it's increasing the flexibility of his hip and groin. If you get too wide, a lot of times that shortens when they're going down. Guys think they're getting low when in reality they're just hitting their chest to the top of their knee or their top of their quad.